So welcome on board the X80. The X80 is the evolution of our X95. Um, slightly different in design, so we don't have the full beam uh, on deck master uh, arrangement or dinette as it can be, um, but you have full walk around decks. Now that's given the boat a, a very different profile overall and I think quite successful in this size. From the aft, we look in, we've done quite a lot of work to create a really interesting back end. So there's lots of design elements in there. Big aft deck, so you've got these nice shallow staircase that leads up onto the aft deck and it's a very deep area. Uh, from the sliding doors all the way to the stainless steel supports, you've got a lovely big overhang to protect you from the elements. Coming into the saloon, big comfy seating on, on both sides, uh, large windows to let plenty of light in, into that saloon area, as well as all the amenities you need. Bar unit uh, sits underneath the integrated staircase that leads up to uh, the Sky Lounge. And in front of that, we have the day head, which has a big window to let plenty of light into it. The galley has the up-down uh, partition, which completely closes that galley off, and then there's a sliding door to complete that. Um, or in the down position, particularly with the two uh, bar stools, really becomes a, a the heart of the boat. Fully equipped galley. This one's fitted with ice maker, dishwasher. Um, you've got the range as well as the cooktop, as well as sub zero refrigeration. Um, that's pull out drawers, or you can have that as a wine cooler. There's also an access door out onto the side decks for crew or for easier access up forward. Going forward, you have the stairs down to the lower guest accommodation with plenty of light from those double windows, one in the whole side and one in the deck house. Uh, and then on this boat, we have the fifth cabin. Now, as a dinette area, you can step into that, but as you can see, this boat is fitted with that cabin, which is really rather fantastic. It has that unique view of being able to look out over the uh, foredeck. The cabin also has that big uh, floor to ceiling windows uh, on the, on the left-hand side, uh, which has uh, an opening door should you want to, so you can gain access to that foredeck, as well, of course, a beautifully appointed ensuite. I think you agree, this main deck is a, a triumph of design and really is a lovely place to be. So downstairs on the lower accommodation, so this is the lower deck of the boat, and you find us in the master cabin. Now the X80 has four cabins on the lower deck and the optional uh, fifth uh, on the main deck. Master cabin is midships, uh, just forward of the uh, engine room bulkhead. Um, has a beautiful ensuite uh, with rain shower, uh, plenty of uh, uh, heated floor should you want it, and tower rails. Uh, coming forward, we have a, a nice walk-in wardrobe, uh, which is, has a nice door you can shut, so you don't have to look at all those items uh, uh, when they're on display. Uh, and you can have a safe in there, should you want to, as well. Big Brother windows let lots of light into it, and you have a vanity unit. Decent sized bed in here, yeah, that's a full king size uh, bed. Big seating area behind me. And then when you exit this cabin, you get into the foyer. So that's at the bottom of the stairs from the main, uh, main deck, and that's where we house the washing machine. And there's also sort of linen storage there as well. Moving up forward, you have uh, the third double uh, cabin, uh, beautifully appointed as always. Plenty of storage, but really thought hard of where we can make the most and make sure it's uh, as usable as possible. Opposite side to that is we have that twin cabin. Those bunks do slide together as well. So slide them together, you can make another double. And of course, that's got this ensuite as well. And then right up forward in the bow area, we have the, the second guest cabin, as it would be, uh, which has that nice big bed in the middle, big knife windows, wardrobes on either side, and then a nice vanity unit, as well as that really big, deep ensuite. 
So great accommodation down here, and a nice space to spend a, a long weekend away or even weeks away in the Bahamas or wherever you choose to go boating. So here we are again in a brand new engine room on the Princess X80. I'm stood between two massive V12 diesels once again on the center line of this model. These are the 1900 horsepower variants, so that's the larger option on this boat, which delivers a speed in excess of 30 knots. As we move aft, past the fire suppression here, and obviously your large boat's secondary escape hatch up a nicely raked ladder here to the cockpit sole. And then watertight door into the crew area. On the Princess X80, the crew accommodation is really quite versatile. We offer multiple layouts at the factory here down in Plymouth. Um, there's plenty of space and accommodation for up to four crew with plenty of space for storage, living quarters, a really good crew mess, really well proportioned bathroom, and of course that air conditioning and heating system, depending on where you're cruising. Um, fantastic setup for a long range boat such as this. So the X80 flybridge. At the aft deck there, we have the two seats facing us through that glass balustrade. Really good size seating area for eating. So that's good. if it's gonna be your main uh, area to have dine with guests, you want to have enough space to relax. And it certainly gives you that. Plenty of refrigeration, both in the wet bar and in that optional side seating uh, cool box. So making that whole area, A, uh, enjoyable, but also you know, quite safe. You're protected from the prevailing winds, you're protected from the sun, from the overhang and the option of having that extendable sunshade really is a ben uh, bonus. Coming into the closed sky lounge, um, a really nice, safe, secure, comfortable place to be. With that pop-up TV, it uh, gives you a place to watch you know, your films or your, your favourite sport, uh, and a bit of privacy from uh, the main hub of the boat downstairs, while enjoying the big views out. And obviously you're protected from the sun, being inside in the air conditioning, but you still can have the, the, the glass roof open, or indeed the blinds shut. The bridge where we are now, plenty of navigation uh, options ahead of you, as well as engine instrumentation, as well as obviously uh, uh, boat control through the Bonin system. The fully adjustable helm seat, again with the option if you wanted to of having the, the navigator seat next to it, really gives you multiple options. And then stepping out through that side door onto what is real bonus of this boat. You know, not many boats have an upper forward flybridge. Uh, it's really characteristic of the X-Range. Uh, I think this area is beautiful. Plenty of sun pad up there, so for the sun worshippers, they can sunbathe there, or of course down on the foredeck. The X80, I think we all agree, is, is a triumph for design of uh, a new era where we're moving. The X95 was our, our, our first incarnation. This is uh, what we think we can do with the X80. Slightly different um, concept, but on the same general theme. Um, I thoroughly recommend you contact your local dealer uh, and arrange to book when they're out. This is slot number one, but when they're out in the field, you'll view an onboard one. Thanks very much.
it's always exciting starting a new project, whatever it is. The leader for this platform was the, the Y72, the hugely successful flybridge boat. We've had a lot of feedback on a lot of people really crying out for, for this boat since the departure of the original S72 some years ago. When we start out the design process for a, a new platform, we work on all of the variants at once. So we develop a hull, structure, engineering the, and the various layouts so we can be absolutely sure that there's no compromise. So we end up with the best result across the entire platform. The S-Class has quite a distinct character uh, and feel when we look at the exterior and the interior design. So in contrast to the Y-Class where it focuses on big interior air conditioned volume, the S-Class reduces the size of your interior and it gives that space back to the, the cockpit deck area. So really the, the S-Class is all about being connected to the water, it's about having that huge cockpit space with your bathing platform, easy access down into the water. It, it really is about the lifestyle of being out there on and in the water. The S72 build has been pretty good. The team has had its challenges, but working closely with the development department, we've managed to work through them. From the Y line to the S line, and I've had like a seamless transition with having the basic knowledge from the Y boat, um, and then just adapting that and changing it to overcome the challenges that the S boat has presented. The most unique part about the flybridge on the S72 is the fact that um, it has a lot more space for the customers to sort of like relax, um, lounge on and enjoy the views that they've sort of they're located. It's been a hard few months overcoming the challenges that it's presented to us. We feel in a pretty good spot about it finally launching. The reception to the S72 has been fantastic. It was designed to be a boat that had the beauty and the emotion of the first sketches that said, here's the idea. But it's not really until you see it, the boat finished with all the details that you get an idea of just the stunning beauty and the sculptural beauty that she has. We're very proud of our craftsmanship and we're very proud of the team of 3,200 people back in Plymouth. And to see the boat completely finished with all her details, the first reaction was she looks just like that first sketch. And so we're really pleased with that. I think the S72 is for everybody, it's certainly for those who are young at heart, but you know what a product, she looks fantastic. It does feel amazing to be honest, it feels very exciting to see first hand of what we've done as a team and what we've overcome and I really do hope it's received very well. <laughs>